uh, SVP. So that, that is three banks that have gone under and it certainly does cause a bit of alarm. Now, I went and did a massive piece on this uh, this morning for our mastermind clients, uh, first thing at 7 a.m. So I made sure that they were ahead of the curve and they hopefully got ahead of the bounce, which is great. Um, but just giving the, the broad overview of what's going on now, if you aren't a client, if you're not in the graduates group or the VIP group, I'll make sure to repost this in the uh, the free group, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency investing group, because it is important to read. It's kind of the level of insight that we do provide. Uh, and I'll just you know click on here, you can have a look. And I'm really painting the positive case here because we really have to think now that we've, we've gone through a deflationary bust in 2020. We've gone through an aggressive Fed tightening you know, bear market in equities, um, bear market in crypto. Uh, there's also been, you know, war in Ukraine. You know, there, there's been so many macro negative drivers that really should have thrown this market. If it was not going to be here for the long term, it should have thrown it to zero by now, but it is not. It is still standing and it is stronger than ever. Bitcoin is solidifying itself, trying to at least above 20,000 is now 22,000 this morning, so it's rebounded heavily with the Federal Reserve and the Treasury coming out and saying they're going to backstop everything. It essentially means they're turning on the money printers uh, at a very, very high level. You can pause here and read this if you want. Maybe that's a better option instead of me reposting it. Uh, but just go there. I'm explaining why um, and why we're going to get a bounce, why we should see a bounce.